all of you have probably read or seen on TV futuristic Star Wars looking style rendering of what the future might look like. One problem I'd like to talk about today is how we use self-driving car to make traffic better and specifically reduce traffic jams. In 2008, an experiment was conducted in Japan in which people were asked to drive at 25 miles an hour in a circle. A simple task, you would think. But what you see happening after a few seconds is a collapse of traffic because humans are not able to maintain distances. This is the cause of a lot of energy inefficiency in traffic. Ten years later, a Calgrad, Denwork, did this experiment. The Arrow is its self-driving vehicle. Right now, the car is just driven by a human, and you can see, after a while, the same oscillations happen. Now we're going to engage the autopilot. OK, now it's self-driving, and what do you see? Suddenly, things smooth out. 42% energy savings with that algorithm. And that's an interesting paradigm, because this is the beginning of a new era. Now, let's do two lanes. You can see this guy is behaving kind of like a jerk, right? It's, <laughs> it's switching lanes to prevent people from passing. But it actually stops the problem. The computer learned to do it with machine learning in a few minutes. And you could argue, well, what's the big deal? You learned this in police academy, right? <laughs> OK, now try this one. So now, what did the computer learn? It learned to create a snake. It learned to do it without any model. It's just artificial intelligence. Now this, I can't tell you what it's doing anymore. It sometimes will hold cars. Sometimes it will let them go. But I can't even rationalize what it came up with. But you look at the numbers, it's actually more efficient. So where are we going with this? What about the Bay Bridge? There's right now a big metering light that prevents cars from entering. What if instead you had self-driving car holding the flow so it flows smoothly? This is a reality we will collectively experience within less than 10 years guaranteed. And artificial intelligence enables us to solve much more complex problems, such as closures created by truck accidents. So hopefully this gives you a glimpse of what the future might look like.